Good morning. Hi, I'm Laura. I'm from Ergo Baby. I am a baby wearing educator and I just have a few quick tips for you about your Umbi carrier. So baby looks like um, the seat is a little bit narrow and what we're looking for is those knees nice and high. So you may have to expand the seat slightly and you can do so incrementally if you need to. Um, to achieve those high knees. So you might have to move it out a little bit. Um, I'm not sure where it's at. I'm guessing it's pretty close to this setting, uh, but you may need to be closer to this setting or the middle setting on your waistband. So another thing what we're looking for is that this lower back piece is centered in the center of your back. So I'm actually gonna put the carrier on um, and show you what I mean. So I'm gonna back up. So I'm passing my male end through my rubber band here, hearing it click, and then pulling the tail out from that rubber band. And then I want this to be centered on my back. So I'm gonna rotate this around. And what's nice is there's tabs on both sides so I can pull on either direction to make sure that it's centered on my lower back. So that's what I'm looking for. And then it's snug around my waist. It looks nice and snug on your waist though. Um, you can see I have my buttons on my black, so I want it on my gray for forward facing out. You already had that part down, awesome. So I'm gonna move my buttons over, and then the baby that I have here for demo is kind of closer to a four or five month baby. I couldn't find my toddler doll, so please forgive me. So what I'm looking for is those nice high knees. So I'm gonna grab my baby, my baby and I'm gonna pull that panel up and just make sure that baby is really deep in the seat so really really deep let's see I'm gonna put my straps on one strap by the time okay so what I'm gonna what I'm looking for and obviously this is a doll so I apologize I don't have a real baby run here um, is that knees look nice and supported and high um, like an M position so not so much rotated forward but rotated up so you might have to reach in and do a little bit of a scoot and kind of gently lift on the back of baby's knees in addition to widening the seat to get that really nice seat and if you have a lot of bulkiness up here um, I'm gonna clip my chest clip and show you um, my secret for tightening so if this is sitting kind of high on you, you need to feed the strap around. So instead of just pulling here to tighten, um, so your, um, your slack, um, what often happens is that it gets pulled out here on the sides, and then all it does is pull on the body here. So what you're gonna wanna do is really feed it around, so really pull the slack out from back here, and then pull it around, see the slack I found? support the weight of the baby, and then tighten down. So really get all that slack out, feed it around, and then tighten. Slack, move it around, see all the looseness I found, and then tighten down. Okay, so that sits a lot flatter. So obviously my baby is a little bit too small, but what I'm also looking for is that chest clip is about shoulder blade position, and that's gonna make a really big difference on how it lays down onto your back. So you want a nice capital H, and you're looking for it at about shoulder blades. So hopefully that helps. Nice high knees, centered lower back piece, and hopefully um, feeding some of that slack around. Thank you so much for doing this, and if you have questions, just let me know. I can always FaceTime with you on Friday.